How many lives are too many to lose in a conflict? This unsettling question is more than a mere thought experiment when we consider the recent events in the Gaza Strip. Just when peace seemed within reach, the situation took a turn for the worse. Overnight, Israeli raids claimed the lives of scores of Palestinians, shattering the brief moment of hope brought by the proposed ceasefire. This grim reality of the Gaza Strip is a stark reminder of the human cost of conflict. Let's delve into the sequence of events leading to this grim reality. The conflict in Gaza didn't just occur overnight. It's a tale of events that have unfolded over the past few months, each one escalating tensions and deepening the crisis. The beginning of the Israeli invasion resulted in the transformation of Gaza into a battlefield, rendering it nearly uninhabitable. As days turned into weeks and weeks into months, the situation only worsened. The Israeli siege led to dire shortages of fundamental necessities. Food, water, fuel, and medicines became increasingly scarce, pushing the people of Gaza further into desperation. The death toll began to rise rapidly. Overnight Israeli aggressions claimed the lives of hundreds of Palestinians, with one particular assault killing 105 people in a single night. The residential areas around the European hospital in Khan Yunis were targeted, causing unspeakable damage and loss. The international community watched in growing horror as the humanitarian crisis unfolded. The mounting civilian casualties led to a chorus of voices from around the globe, calling for an immediate ceasefire. These pleas for peace seem to have been heard when Qatar announced that a truce proposal, made in Paris, had been approved by the Israeli side. Initial positive confirmation was also received from Hamas, yet, the hope was short-lived as sources close to Hamas revealed there was no agreement on the framework of the ceasefire yet. And amidst all this, a glimmer of hope emerged. A ceasefire proposal, a ray of hope, was on the horizon. The mediator Qatar had put forth a truce proposal, to which Tel Aviv had given a nod of approval. A glimmer of peace seemed possible, even amid the turmoil that had consumed the Gaza Strip. Yet, the hope was short-lived. As the news of the proposal spread, so did the Israeli raids and shelling in Khan Yunis. The streets were painted with the echoes of aggression, the air filled with tension and uncertainty. The ceasefire proposal, it seemed, was not enough to halt the violence. The confusion was further fueled by the words of a source close to Hamas. The source, quoted by AFP, stated that there was no agreement on the framework of the proposed ceasefire. It seemed that the factions had significant observations, and the Qatari statement was deemed rushed and untrue. The beacon of hope that had briefly flickered was being quickly extinguished by the harsh winds of disagreement and discord. The Israeli side of the story added another layer of complexity. Israel's Minister of Military Affairs Yoav Gallant stated that the regime's forces will continue their invasion to Rafah despite the ceasefire proposal. The words, posted on X, formerly known as Twitter, were clear. We will continue until the end, there is no other way. The ceasefire proposal, initially seen as a potential end to the conflict, had turned into a source of confusion and disappointment. It had become a symbol of the complex and volatile nature of the situation, a testament to the fragility of peace in the face of conflict. But the conflict was far from over. Despite the proposal, the aggression continued. What was meant to be a ceasefire turned into a night of terror as Israeli strikes continued to rain down on the besieged Gaza Strip. Residential buildings were not spared, including those near the European hospital in Khan Yunis. The onslaught has been relentless, rendering Gaza virtually uninhabitable. The cries for help from Gaza are drowned out by the roar of bombs. The Israeli siege has led to a dire shortage of essential supplies food, water, fuel, and medicines. The international community has raised its voice, calling for an immediate ceasefire. Yet the plea for peace falls on deaf ears as the aggression continues unabated. In the midst of this chaos, Alamal Hospital in Khan Yunis finds itself encircled. Israeli military forces continue to target the hospital, jeopardizing the lives of medical staff, patients, and thousands of displaced individuals seeking refuge. The Red Crescent Society reports that the hospital is under siege, with critical shortages of medical supplies, medications, and fuel. The situation is so dire that meals have been reduced to one a day to conserve the remaining supplies. 
the targeting of civilians is a grim reality of this conflict. More than 27,000 Palestinians have lost their lives since the aggression began in early October. Among the casualties was Naim Yusuf Hassan, a 49-year-old man killed by an Israeli sniper while trying to help a wounded volunteer near the hospital. The reality on ground remains grim, with the conflict showing no signs of abating. The humanitarian crisis unfolding in Gaza is a stark reminder of the devastating impact of war on innocent civilians. The world watches as the aggression continues, leaving in its wake a trail of destruction and despair. In these trying times, it is our duty as global citizens to raise our voices. The situation in Gaza is dire, with countless lives hanging in the balance. The ongoing conflict, the humanitarian crisis, the ceaseless aggression, it's a harsh reality that needs to be brought to light. It's crucial that we spread awareness about these events, not just within our communities, but also at a global level. The power of knowledge is immense. It's this collective consciousness that can influence decision-making processes, stimulate debates, and ultimately make a difference. Moreover, the international community plays a significant role in this scenario. With their resources, influence, and diplomatic prowess, countries around the world can exert pressure for a ceasefire. They can facilitate negotiations, mediate between the conflicting parties, and help bring about a peaceful resolution. Aid, both monetary and in kind, is desperately needed in Gaza. Food, water, fuel, medicines, these are basic necessities that are currently in dire shortage. The international community, humanitarian organizations, and even individuals can contribute to alleviating this crisis. Every bit of help counts in this critical situation. The situation in Gaza is a stark reminder of our shared humanity. It's a call to action for all of us, urging us to do our part, however small. It's a plea for empathy, for understanding, for peace. So let's not turn a blind eye to the suffering of others. Let's not stay silent in the face of injustice. Instead, let's use our voices, our platforms, and our resources to make a difference. Spread the word, raise awareness, and let's hope for a peaceful resolution in Gaza soon.